Ezekiel's end time prophecies. God's people, Yehovah's people must know this as they seek to understand God's word about the time of the end. It's the glory of Yehovah to conceal a matter. It's the glory of Yehovah's people to search it out. The time of the end has come. This is what I hear from Yehovah's word in Ezekiel. Son of man, I am sending you to my people. They are a hard-hearted people who are rebelling against me to this very day. Warn them to turn from their ways to my ways, whether they listen or fail to listen. Do not be afraid of them or their words. They will come to know that a prophet has been among them. Then I saw a scroll with writing on both sides, Revelation 5 and 6. On it were words of lament, mourning, and woe. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for my people. Hear my word and warn them from me. If you do not warn them, their blood will be on your head. But if you warn them not to sin, and they do not sin, they will live, and you will have saved yourself. This is what Yehovah says. Whoever listens, let them listen. Whoever refuses, let them refuse. For they are a rebellious people. This is from Ezekiel chapter 3. In 2003, God called me to be a watchman for his people, to warn them of what was coming on the world and call them to repent of their ways and turn to his ways. In September 2009, God confirmed to me that Iran will fulfill the Revelation 6, 3, and 4 prophecy when he said this, The red horse symbolizes Iran. I have stirred up the kings of the Medes because of my purpose to destroy Babylon. The second sentence, I have stirred up the kings of the Medes, comes from Jeremiah 51. The rapture myth exposed. Son of man, prophesy against the false prophecy teachers who are now prophesying. Woe to the false prophets who follow their own imagination. They've misled my people so that they cannot even stand firm to the end. Their teachings are false, their pre-tribulation rapture a lie. Even though they have no word from me, they expect their myth to be fulfilled. But when the Iran war happens, their lie will be exposed. When their myth is destroyed, my people will know that I am Yehovah, their God. End Time Watchmen These men say nothing has to happen before their pre-trib rapture. I say Revelation 6-4 Iran War happens first. In time repentance, Son of Man, I have made you a watchman for my people, so hear my word and warn them. I take no pleasure in the death of sinners, but that they turn from their ways to my ways and live. If a righteous man turns from his turns from my commands and sins, he will die. If he stops sinning and obeys my commands, he will live. When I make America a waste and her great strength ends, my people will come to hear your words, but they will not put, they will not do what you say. When all this happens, they will know a prophet has been among them. Son of man, prophesy against America. Say, Yehovah is against America, and he will stretch out his hand against her and turn her towns into ruins and make her desolate. Because she did not hate bloodshed, war will pursue her. Since she hated my people, I will make myself known as I judge her. All the nations will rejoice when I make her desolate, says Yehovah, Almighty God. This is from Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel's Israel prophecy. Prophesy concerning the land of Israel. Yehovah says, I will speak in my wrath because you have suffered the scorn of the nations. I will look on you, Israel, with favor. I will cause many people to come and live with you. 
your towns will be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. For I will gather my people from the nations and bring them into the land. I will put my spirit in them to follow my decrees and to keep my laws. This is from Ezekiel 36. Second coming prophecy. Son of man, prophesy and say, this is what Yehovah says. I'm going to open up the graves of my people and raise them up. I will bring them into the land of Israel. Then they will know that I am Yehovah. I will take my people out of the nations and gather them in the land, and there will be one king over them. They will be my people, and I will be their God, and they will follow my laws and be careful to keep my decrees. This is from Ezekiel 37. End time pastors, son of man, prophesy against the pastors. Woe to you pastors who tell the flock what is popular and hides end time prophecy about my return. I, Yehovah, will remove my people from the pastures and I will be their shepherd. I will bring my people out of the nations and gather them in, the, in Israel. They will know they are my people, the sheep of my pasture, and I am their God, declares Yehovah. Antichrist, Jerusalem battle. Yehovah says, I am against you, God, chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. On the day of the Lord, your troops and many nations will come from Megiddo against Jerusalem. Antichrist, you're the one I prophesied about. On the day of Yehovah, a great earthquake will happen in Israel, and I will appear in the sight of the nations. Then they will know that I am Yehovah, Almighty God. This is from Ezekiel 38. It's often misunderstood by God's people. Antichrist, Jerusalem battle. Yehovah says, I'm against you, God, chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. You and all the nations will fall in Jerus at Jerusalem. You will be food for carrion birds. Check this out in Matthew 24, 28. The day of the Lord is coming, the day I have spoken of through the prophets. On that day I will give God a burial place in Israel. I will display my glory and all the nations will see me. I will revive and restore all my people. That revive and restore is resurrect and reestablish the kingdom of God on earth forever. God's, God's millennial kingdom. Son of man, look carefully, listen closely, and pay attention to everything I show you. I saw Yehovah's millennial temple restored the Levitical priesthood. On the Sabbaths, new moons, and feasts, the people are to worship in the presence of Yehovah. These are the boundaries of the inheritance of my people and of the prince. All the people of the land will be required to give this special offering to the prince, the king of Israel. Almighty God. Made a prophet. In 2003, God called me to be a watchman for his people and to warn them of what was coming on the world and to call them to repent of their ways and turn to his ways. In September 2009, God confirmed to me Iran will fulfill the Revelation 6, 3, and 4 prophecy when he said the red horse symbolizes Iran. I've stirred up the kings of the Medes because of my purpose to destroy Babylon. The second sentence, as I mentioned, comes from Jeremiah 51, 11 through 13. The time of the end began on 9-11-2001. According to Daniel 12, 4 and 9, end time prophecy couldn't be completely understood until the words of the scroll were open. Since 9-11, the words of the scroll have been opened and a comprehensive study of the time of the end has been done and written in these books by Richard H. Perry. However, the only book I recommend is the Bible. 